Hey, I have uh, a new drone again today. Uh, this was actually a Christmas present from my wife. It's probably not a drone that I would have purchased on my own, but as a present, I think it's really cool. And I'm actually really excited about this one. Uh, many of you probably already know what I'm talking about. Uh, Sarah got me the uh, DJI FPV drone. So uh, yeah, let's quit messing around. Let's get this thing out of the box and take a look at it. Okay, let's get this baby sliced open. Okay, wow, look at that. Uh, is that an amazing looking piece of equipment or what? Let me uh, dig everything out of the box and we'll take a look. Hey, okay, so what do we get here? Uh, look at this, here's the drone itself. And I can tell you, uh, it feels very substantial uh, in your hand. I'd have to look it up to see exactly what it weighs, but, uh, but it's fairly heavy. Uh, bottom LED light there. Uh, looks like you've got optical flow sensors here. Uh, these are uh, infrared sensors. Uh, I am quite sure that's all for obstacle avoidance. There's the front obstacle avoidance cameras. Then if you look on the side here, uh, this is this canopy is removable and they give you another canopy that we'll look at here in a second that uh, that you can install on there although i kind of like the looks of this uh, semi-opaque one i'll pull all these decals off but they're telling you where to put the a props and the b props uh, and then the uh, the battery and like others have said the battery uh, is actually part of the landing feet, so the very back of the battery is, uh, is where the drone uh, sits on the, on the ground. Uh, so, if I understand it right, this is the power plug, and this should just pull right out. Yeah, I snapped that together, and it pulls right out. There's the inside of the drone, and I'm sure many of you have seen this before. Uh, there's the battery itself. Let's, uh, let's plug that guy back in. You know, the only thing I'm kind of noticing here right off the bat, yeah, you kind of want to press in while you push it in, then you can feel that thing go in there. And uh, yeah, let's plug that plug back in. That's, uh, that's going to be important to make sure that your power cable is plugged all the way in. Uh, but then those uh, super powerful brushless motors. Let's take a look at the controller. Of course, I've got a lot of decals I have to take off all that st this stuff. Typical uh, DJI, they've got stickers everywhere. But here I see is the, uh, the gimbal sticks uh, on the inside of the handles of the controller. So we might as well go ahead and see if we can get those installed. So the controller itself, you got an on off button right there, a programmable C1 button, and I like that they put a uh, lanyard uh, slot right there so you can hook a lanyard up. Uh, USB-C right there for uh, charging the uh, controller. And then of course, as we noticed, the gimbals themselves, and they definitely, they feel a little different. They move very, very easily. There's not a lot of tension on them. Uh, that I can see. And then this goes up. That's the antenna. Uh, and then uh, let, we can turn it around here so you can see these buttons. Uh, and I am going to have to uh, look at the manual a little bit more, but uh, I can tell you, I know this one is for take a picture and start recording. This one will actually will move the camera up and down in three preset uh, situations because of course it does not have a gimbal. It's just the, well, uh, a one-way gimbal, I suppose, because the camera does move up and down. Uh, this is the speed button, so uh, top is normal, sport, and then manual mode. And I understand there's some other things you have to do to get it into manual. Return to home button, pause button, uh, and uh, the uh, start and stop button right here. And I'm trying to remember exactly all the details on that. I'll definitely have to go into the manual. And you got a scroll reel right here. So I assume that's probably for stepping that camera up and down as well. I will tell you this, there's a lot that I need to learn about this drone before my first flight. Okay, the other thing that is all new to me is these uh, goggles. Uh, so what have we here? We've got the, uh, this is where you screw the antennas onto the goggle. There's four little stick antennas that, uh, that screw onto there. I assume that's just a vent right there. Uh, up and down button. So I'm sure that's probably for toggling through menus. And uh, yeah, you can record to this. So you have a micro USB slot there, USB-C right there. Uh, 
and then I'm gonna have to mess around in here. I'm not gonna do that right now. We got some decals on there. I know you can adjust here. Yeah, I can show you how you can adjust these back and forth for the width of your of your eye. Uh, and then this is the uh, power cable. And I think this is where you can, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the uh, menu on that. Uh, and then at the top here, I know this is a five-way switch for going through menus, and this is a record button. Uh, the other button right here, I'm definitely going to have to look at the uh, manual to figure all that. This is going to be an all-new experience to me uh, to figure this guy out. So anyway, that is the goggles. Hey, okay, so all the rest of the stuff in the box. Uh, so your A propellers, uh, and they're, they're demarked by the uh, red circle there, so red to red when you're installing it. Uh, on the drone itself. Uh, the B propellers, and those are the black ones. Uh, you have the antenna that go on the goggles here. The uh, hex key wrench, or Allen wrench, as uh, I've always called them. Uh, that you can take the, uh, the cover off the drone, the canopy, and uh, I think you can use that for adjusting the tension on the remote controller itself. They do give you an extra set of uh, gimbals for the uh, gimbal sticks for the controller. Uh, and then, of course, this is the charge brick and a AC cable charge brick. Uh, then you have uh, the extra uh, canopy, the green colored canopy that uh, I've seen some people put on there. So then you've got what they call uh, an OTG cable, which is a uh, USB C to uh, USB-A female, so that's how I will connect to my iPhone. I'll have a USB-A to lightning connector to connect it to my iPhone. Uh, and then this is the uh, power cable for the uh, goggles. It will go from uh, the battery right here. I guess we should pick that up. This is the battery for the goggles, uh, and that cable goes from the battery, this battery, to the uh, goggles themselves. Uh, and then the other cable you have here is uh, USB-A to USB-C, uh, and I'm pretty sure that's just a charge cable. And then you have the uh, strap for the goggles to hold the goggles on your head. So I need to get all this stuff uh, figured out and do a lot of research. Hey, okay guys, of course I wanna get this bird in the air, but I've got a lot of research I need to do first. I'm gonna be watching a lot of uh, videos probably Billy Kyle and air photography and a few others to figure out how to fly this guy. And of course, uh, taking a look at the manual and uh, some other things. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to be fun. What I realized is that I had not taken this off to show you the camera uh, earlier. So uh, let me kind of hold it back here so that everything's in focus. Uh, so yeah, anyway, there is the uh, DJI FPV drone. I know this has been a, out for a while and a lot of people have had it and there's a lot of videos out here but it's a first time for me so uh, yeah uh, let's uh, get out in the field and let's quit messing around and let's get this bird in the air. Hey oh hey I almost forgot I, I also bought the uh, Fly More kit too because everybody says you need more than the one battery that they put in that kit so the Fly More kit comes with a uh, charge hub and two more batteries so then with this I'll have three batteries in total. Well the day has finally come. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get the DJI FPV drone up in the air today. It is a cold day. It's about 35 degrees, so very near freezing. We got a little bit of wind, uh, and I'm out at Heroes Park. I would have rather my first flight uh, with this guy been out like at the Snake River Canyon or something like that, but winter kind of prevails, and uh, I've had this thing uh, since Christmas, opened it up on Christmas, and so it's just time to get it in the air, and this is probably as good a weather as I'm gonna get for a while. So uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, <laughs> so I think I'm ready to go here, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the, uh, the drone. Yeah, you can see it, and Sarah's taking pictures as well with the other GoPro. Sarah's here as my spotter today. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, this is my first time with the goggles and everything. I think I've got everything on. I'm going to uh, take off real quick with the, uh, with the goggles up. Okay, we had one of the GoPros run out of battery here, so uh, I think I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm going to take off with the goggles up, get it up in the air, and, uh, and then put the goggles down, and let's see how we can go from there. 
Okay, uh, yeah, we should be ready to go. So, uh, sticks down and in, and then up. And I'm gonna put the goggles on. Check propeller installation. I don't know, the drone is flying all right, but it's giving me something on the screen here. Okay, I'm gonna bring the drone back down. Okay, I'm holding the stick down, trying to land the drone now. Evidently, I didn't like something about the propellers, or I don't know, maybe that's just a tutorial. Okay, I checked the propellers. I took them off, put them back on, uh, and now I'm not getting that warning anymore. I don't know what that was, but now it's asking to update firmware in the battery. And it sounds like the thing is, is uh, firing up again here. We're at 87 percent. said inconsistent firmware between the uh, drone and the battery is what it said. Yeah, firmware update successful with the goggles down. I'm going to lean against my truck. And there we are. I'm getting it up in the air. It says, uh, it says that the home point has uh, been set, so I think we're good. I'm going to, uh, wish I could see uh, how high. Uh, my vision is kind of weird. I only have one, uh, yeah, and there's Sarah down there. So, uh, see if I can remember how to adjust the uh, camera. There we go. So there we, uh, I can kind of see where I'm at here. We're just in normal mode. And, uh, and I, can, I can see myself there. I'll tell you, it's kind of weird here. Okay, I'm gonna go up. And then let's pick that camera up. Maybe. So I'm struggling to uh, feel the uh, controls here, folks. Okay, uh, yeah, you know, I'm sorry. I know this isn't terribly exciting. Uh, and we're just, again, we're just in normal mode here, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of feeling my way around the, uh, and I see there's some people out in the field, so we're gonna try and avoid them. Looks like they're metal detecting. So yeah, I mean, you know, it flies. Let's kind of, and it's, it's weird the way it banks and I'm just using the yaw control to bank here. And yeah, here we go. We're out at the other corner of the park. I can tell you the goggle is pretty clear, but one of my problems is with my, the way my eyes work, there's a dog running across there. The way my eyes work, I, uh, one side of the, of the frame is always blurry. So it's kind of difficult for me to, uh, to see all the telemetry and so forth, uh, but it works. It's my, uh, my right eye that's doing all the work here. And I can see the home point there. That's kind of cool. Let's uh, let's stop here for a second. We're only about 17 meters high. Let's grab some more altitude. And uh, let's see, I know, kind of feeling here. I'm telling you, I, I, I struggle feeling the, uh, the switches here. So yeah, okay, so this is the, uh, yeah. So there I can adjust the, the, uh, uh, the, the uh, angle of the camera right there with the uh, roller wheel. I, forgotten about that I was trying to use that other the other uh, switch on the other side so I'm going to I'm going to uh, hold down return to home and see if it'll come back to us here and it is it says it's in return to return to home and I should be able to uh, to see, and I'm dropping the gimbal down as we come back. And it seems like it's moving over us slowly here. And battery percentage, yeah, let's see. Looks like we're about 56%. 
Yeah, and it's, uh, it's setting itself up here for a landing. So, uh, so let's land it. And I, I can see it's not going to hit my pickup and it's just on the pavement, so that's good. And down it goes. And I'll lift up the goggles and see where it's at. Okay, I loaded another battery and it's updating firmware on that battery again too. I'm telling you, I went through all this stuff, uh, but it's, uh, it seems like it's doing it again, but that's all right. Okay, it gave me the, uh, the firmware updated, so I'm gonna click okay. Uh, what I'm figuring out is so much of this stuff you gotta do by feel uh, on this drone, and I'm struggling a little bit uh, with the controller to feel where everything is at. So, uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and take off again. So, down and in, and let's take off. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some altitude real quick. Altitude is your friend. Okie dokie. Uh, and it looks like it started recording. So, uh, so let's move forward. And let's just kind of get the feel for the sticks. I mean, it flies pretty easy. I mean, it flies like a regular FPV drone. Uh, I guess from my perspective, I mean, it's kind of fun the way it banks and so forth. Stay out of the way of these people. A lot of people running around in the park, so we're kind of zigzagging our way through them here, so we uh, stay out of their way. A bunch of people are, uh, looks like they got metal detectors in there out here today. So top speed, I can kind of see it. My eyes can't see that very well about 11 meters per second. So it's not like it's particularly fast. I, you know, I'm full stick forward right now and I'm not feeling like I'm, you know, flying a high speed drone here or anything or, you know, no faster than a, uh, than a regular Mavic. It's just a trash can down there right there. Uh, but you know, the feed seems to be good. I wish I, I had remembered to bring a chair to, uh, yeah, let's just kind of do a little circle here. And my wife is telling me that there's a rock over there I can sit on, but maybe we'll try that here in a few minutes. Okay, let's get over in the corner here on the other side. And like I said, it's about, looks like it's about 12 meters per second here or something like that. So I don't know what, that's about 25 miles an hour or something. Okay, let's kind of turn this guy around a little bit. Move it over. And it's interesting to see how the drone uh, moves around there. So if I move it down there, yeah, that put it into sport mode. So let me see how much faster that is. I'm just going to go straight forward here. Grab a little altitude and then straight forward. Yeah, and that's pretty quick. About 25 meters per second there, and oh boy, does that camera wiggle around. So my understanding is is that what I see on the SD card will be different than that. So uh, yeah, we're in sport mode here. And you can sure, I can hear it, boy, I'll tell you. Fairly easy to control. A uh, good signal. Haven't had any signal issues at all. The drone moves right along, I'll tell you that. Well, uh, guys, I know I'm staying pretty high in the air, but uh, 
uh, that is uh, kind of what, uh, what I feel like I should do on a first flight here. Stay out of trouble. Altitude is your friend. Okay, we're going to come to a stop. In fact, I want to try that. I want to try that, uh, the, uh, the, o, uh, the, the, that pause button and see if that works. And I am full stick forward and then pause. And that's right. Yeah, so it, it stopped right there. Okay, very cool. What are we down to on battery here? It's hard for me to see. 67%, so we, got, we still have plenty of battery. We should be able to cross the road here and go over into the field. You guys have seen this view before. And what I'll say is, you know, this drone doesn't care about wind, that's for sure. And let's bank it around here. And we will cross the road again and head back over uh, Heroes Park, over the pond. So, uh, you know, if I'm not talking much, it's because I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here, folks. Uh, I have to tell you, this is fun flying like this. It feels pretty sporty. Okay, let's drop it back into normal mode. There, I'm starting to get the feel for the controller now. It takes a little bit here. And battery-wise here, I wish I could, uh, wish my eyes worked better. 52%, so we're still pretty good on battery. Let me uh, come down here and see if I can... Uh, I see somebody down there, so... Yeah, there's some folks down there. I, I was going to do a little uh, rotation around the uh, flagpole, but there's some people down there, so... We'll, uh, we'll kind of move the other direction here. Over the pond. And there we are down there. There's Sarah sitting on the rock and me leaning against the truck. So it, you know, here's what I'm going to tell you. It does fly pretty much like a regular GPS drone. You know, I mean, it, I'm not, it's, it's, you know, stable. And, and of course, I am not in any, uh, I, I certainly am not in any uh, position to try manual mode or anything. But uh, I got to tell you, one of the problems I'm going to have is my, my eyesight with these goggles. Because they, you know, I mean, obviously I can see, but... Uh, I'm, and this is my first time flying it, but you know I'm definitely more comfortable on a uh, on a with a traditional uh, uh, FPV feed on a uh, mobile device, etc. So these guys, I think they're doing metal detecting and stuff down here. So let's see, let's see if we can. Uh, do one more run here and avoid everybody. There's sport mode again, so we're going to go full stick forward here. Go out to the corner of the park. And then we'll turn around and come back the other way. We'll bring this guy in. Boy, it's definitely got some speed to it. There's no doubt about that. Okay, back into normal mode.
And I'm trying to tip the goggles up so I can just do a manual landing here. And let's just bring her down. Holding the stick down. And there we go. Hey, okay, that wasn't a bad first flight. I can tell you my fingers are cold. Uh, it's cold out here. And I can tell you uh, a couple of things that I struggled with. One was the goggles. This eye is the only eye that really works for me. The, the uh, left eye is real nearsighted. Uh, and so really the only thing I'm seeing in the goggles is with my right eye. So what happens is, is the telemetry at the bottom, if I move that lens back and forth on the goggles, either one side is blurry or the other. So I really don't get all the telemetry like you would want to get. Uh, but the view in the goggles is clear. In other words, you see what the drone is seeing very, very well. Uh, and the drone itself ah, was easy to fly. If you've flown a GPS drone, uh, you can fly this guy, that's for sure. And, and I had fun. It is sporty. I mean, you know, we threw it into sport mode there on that, uh, on that second battery, and man, it zips right across the sky. Uh, and it's fun, and it's fun banking it, and it definitely gives you that feeling of flight. I can tell you what, I need a lot more practice with this guy. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but, but I did have fun. I want to do it on a warmer day. You know, my hands were cold. I was kind of feeling around for some of those buttons and stuff. And, and you know, when, you're, when your hands are cold and stuff, it just doesn't work as well. So, uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting out with this more as the weather warms up and, uh, and flying it some more and getting used to it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just glad to have uh, another, uh, another bird in the, uh, in the arsenal. And this is just kind of my little introduction to FPV. Will I ever put this thing in manual mode? I suspect at some point I probably will, but it's not anytime soon, I can tell you that. I need a lot more practice with it. But uh, anyway, I, I know this wasn't a terribly eventful flight, uh, but uh, you, anyway, you got to see my first flight with the DJI FPV drone or my first flight with any FPV drone. I guess that's about it. <laughs> This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And uh, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, the uh, DJI FPV drone, kind of a new one for me. Uh, uh, de definitely fun, definitely different. Uh, more to come with this guy. See you later.